Hello, this is Benham and in this video, I would like to show you how you can make use of Bloomberg to create a portfolio. I will also show you quickly how you can analyze the performance of the portfolio that you will have created. So, uh, there is this function called PRTU, which is related to portfolio administration. And then once you click it, it allows you to create the portfolio and you can give a name here, which can be something like my first um, active Bloomberg portfolio. Okay, so the name is a bit long, but that's fine. Here, uh, you can take equity, which means investing only in equities or stocks or FI only in fixed income but you can take balance which means you are investing both in equities and the bonds. Currency you can have your preference here but I will just leave it at, at, at pound okay so investing in pound and there are some other menus here such as drifting fixed weight but uh, shares per amount is also an easy one so just leave it at as it is then click create and this will uh, send you to this menu now let us assume that um, I want to make an investment for the next 10 week period uh, and I have been given some money by my client so the money is what I can put here but as I said to you, I also want you to be able to see how the portfolio has performed over, let's say, this 10-week period. Then, in this video, I will not be able to show you how the portfolio has performed if I start from the date today. So, what I will therefore do is backdate this. So, I will go somewhere around in end of uh, November um, to... Uh, to start my portfolio so I backdated it and now I will say the client has given me one million one two three four five six and this money I can start investing in financial securities mainly stocks and bonds so now I can click save and uh, my portfolio uh, setting has been done now I want to start buying and selling of securities, which I'm going to do from uh, end of November 2020. So uh, for that, there is one feature called PTT, which is Portfolio Trade Ticket. So if I click it, uh, then I go to this menu. Remember, first thing you need to do is go to setting and click update CAS um, so that your position will change each time you buy and sell the securities. So we're starting with 1 million and let's say that I'm going to buy, oh, it's already here. So let's say that I'm going to buy Netflix, Netflix equities. So how many of them do I want to buy and when is I need to record? So first I will say um, I need to change the date here to tell when I bought Netflix stocks. Let's say that I bought it end of November, November 30, 2020. So I need to tell how many am I buying. I'm going to say I bought 250 of them. So I'm making this much investment. So then now I can click submit. So you see my 1 million has gone down to 908,000. So that was my first investment. Now I'll invest in, let's say, I'm just taking some popular names like Apple. So Apple US equity, I'm going to invest. I just need to change the date. So I will say I invested on the um, on the date um, I invest. So we made investment in Apple US equities and we just need to define how many of them. So let's say that I want to buy a, a large number of stocks in Apple, let's say 500 of them. And this means I'm investing 66,860 and I'm going to click submit. Similarly, I'm also going to make investment in, let's say the popular names such as Amazon. So Amazon US equity, that should be expensive, yeah. And let's say that I am going to buy uh, 200 of them, uh, or let's say 150 of them. But then I need to define my date when I'm going to buy it, and I will say I bought them on 
the 10th of December 2020 and then the price was different so I need to put the position uh, the number of stocks I want to buy again that's what I have done so now I can submit it so I bought Netflix Amazon um, and also I now want to buy let's say Apple stocks um, I bought them so Microsoft so Microsoft and I would say I bought Microsoft just before Christmas so let's say 23rd of December and I am going to buy a 1000 of Microsoft and therefore I need to pay 221,000 on that day so that's what I have clicked at submit so you can see here how much money I've got left 627,000 so now I will also say I will buy the Google uh, Google US equity and the date I bought was let's say uh, I bought them on uh, the this side of the year which is January the 3rd 2021 now okay so uh, that was the price then and therefore I bought 200 of them so about 340,000 350,000 is what I'm investing so I click submit so now you see my position is going down this way so i bought google i bought microsoft i bought apple netflix something like this now let's say that i'm also interested to buy some bonds so for bond you can use the function secf security finder and then see different types of bond to choose from but then I know some of these uh, Microsoft that were paying more than 3% coupon. So I will take this one, which is maturing in 2027. And then I would say here, I'm interested in buying, uh, let's say 200 of them. And that would take me to 230,000. And the date that I'm buying here is 1st of January 3rd. So that's fine. Just leave this date as it is. And I click submit. Now I've got uh, small money left from my total 1 million. So what I will do now is I'll buy another bond. And this time I'm going to buy Tesla. Uh, Tesla bond above 5%. Is there one? Oh, yes. Let me take this one. And in this case, I would say I bought it at the end of January, which will be, let's say, uh, 31st of January 2021. And I am buying, let's say, 30 of them. So a small investment in Tesla bond. And I'm clicking submit. So now I have a small money left. And finally, I will have, um, let's say, I am buying a few more of Netflix again um, because um, let's say that I've seen their uh, fundamentals and I think they are going to do very good and therefore I'm buying 10 of them but I'm buying them at the start of February which is this date so I have bought uh, let's say now um, 20 of them so that's 10,000 so I have made all those investment okay so you can see here this ptt also allows you to put the cost uh, of your transaction so you can put something like one person if you wanted to but as i said i just wanted to make it simple so i didn't do any search uh, cost adjustment so now i can go to my portfolio back uh, so PRTU, and i just need to find uh, my portfolio uh, which uh, I had given a name if you remember my first active portfolio my first active uh, Bloomberg portfolio so that's the one and uh, here you can see I made investment in Apple Amazon Google Microsoft Netflix so one two three four five stocks and two bonds is what I invested in and I still have 122,385 left so that's what I did so portfolio construction wise uh, this is a very simple example but now uh, very quickly on the portfolio performance um, so what you can do is either you can click analyze here and check um, or you can type in PORT port and check okay so if you click PORT um, type in PORT hit enter then 
it generally it should be the case that it will show you the same performance of the same portfolio which is the case here uh, there are so many tabs here that um, can be a, a, an agenda of discussion in my next uh, or other videos but here quickly if you click performance then you will be able to see some indicators um, here and if you click statistical summary then it will show you return risk adjusted return um, such as these and, and these ratios okay so now you know that this portfolio we started just 10 weeks ago so therefore it is not revealing much but if you think of um, if you have made other portfolios in the past um, then you will be able to see that um, these informations uh, will be f will be seen as uh, fully completed and therefore um, full scale information will be there so just to give you uh, the idea on that i'm now going to open one of my portfolios from the past such as let me find um, another portfolio here that i op that i made some time ago um, maybe it uh, can open okay um so first portfolio for my first active my active one two three and this a balance maybe this has something 40 stocks no this is very few stocks so um here two, 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 top down five yeah yeah so that should have a number of stocks as you can see it had some and now if i I can click analyze or I can go via port as I said to you so uh, doesn't matter how I go there so I can click analyze and as I said to you it takes you to the same menu and uh, that's performance is what you can click and I want to click uh, the statistical summary because then you can see a number of indicators uh, such as these and you will see that some values are not appearing here because you have not selected the the benchmark so let's say that I select benchmarks at FTSE 100 then I'll be able to see that all the information uh, you will be able to see different indicators okay so they are all filled in so tracking error SAR, jensen information trainer um, all these are here to allow you to look into portfolio performance of course there are other tabs as well including the graphical representation in terms of how the portfolio performed over the period and you can also change the time period to something like this and then you'll be able to see how your portfolio has performed compared to uh, your selected benchmark something like this so thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for listening